I kind of hinted at it with my survivor pick. I kind of hinted at it at the top of the show. And in game, I like the Bucks minus the three and a half against against the Commanders. Uh, I think the Bulls defense is going to give uh, Jaden Daniels some problems. Uh, this is a good Bucks offensive line. I'm not long term bullish on the Bucks overall in terms of a an eight or a nine. I think they're kind of fortunate last year to win a a bad division and get to the playoffs. But I think here against Washington at home with everything that they have going forward, I think in matchup wise, I do like Tampa minus three and a half. I think it's a good spot. I feel like Tampa is a quiet team. Tampa won the division last year. Like, yes, they're a good football team. Uh, so I'm, I'm with you. Bears best bet pre- uh, presented by DraftKings Sportsbook. My best bet is going to be the Panthers plus four bear. We're going stinky here in week Love one. Um, look, there's the, the Saints are not, going to be good this season some offensive line question marks and Derek Carr guy since entering the league in, in 2014 is ranked 165 out of 166 quarterbacks against the spread as a favorite he is Who's terrible 166? I don't know I should figure that out he's 314 to one against the spread in his last 17 games as a favorite 314 and one bear he's not good in this spot the Saints are not good I do not trust them I think the Panthers by the way are going to be better than we think I, I, I may or may not have some money on them to, to go over their win total. I might have sprinkled a tiny bit for, for, for NFC South. I think I like the coaching staff. I like how they built their team. Bryce Young will be better. He won't be, he won't be the best in the NFL bear, but he'll be better. Give me Panthers here plus four. He better be better. Who was it that told me is well, or I can't remember where I heard that. Like Dennis Allen, like the, the Saints have gone under their season win total every year since he's been, since he's been here. Yeah, I'm not surprised. He's not, he's not a dynamic coach at all. He's just like, he's just a coach. He's just, a, just, just blah. The Saints are, look, Bear, for so many years, the Saints have put off the sort of restructure they have to do. Oh, they, they've been, they've been and, it's like a credit card tab that's yes. just been running up for years. And instead of just sort of doing it over a year or two years, they're sort of doing it slowly where they like let a, a couple <laughs> guys go. And like, so they just continually get worse, but not bad enough to draft a quarterback first overall. Not bad enough to clear their roster of all their debts. The worst place he and can be, purgatory. They're, they're just in the. They're sort of in this spot where like, they're just meh. They're just meh. So uh, give me Panthers plus. Look at a team like the Texans who were terrible. Yeah. And now you you won the division. You're in the playoffs and you're amongst the contenders uh, to maybe get to the Super Bowl. So you 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 can't be seven and ten. Does you no good? No. You either got worst spot to just, be in the NFL. You got to stink or be or be great. Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.